Today I wanted to make a quick video just explaining how slash TP works in the newest versions of Minecraft. Now I can almost guarantee that this will not change anymore. So you would expect that this new change to slash TP will stick with Minecraft forever. But I feel it's really important for me to convey how this works now because a lot of people will be confused when they try to use this command. This is a command that a lot of people use. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about is essentially how to teleport these horses up. What you would ordinarily do in the older versions of Minecraft is simply use this command here. So slash tp at e type horse tilde tilde 5 tilde. That would tp all the horses 5 blocks up. Now the change in version 1.13 now forces the player to execute the command. So essentially the teleported horses will TP to you and then teleport 5 blocks up because it's going to teleport relative to the executor of the command. So if I do this now, you can see the horses no longer teleport 5 blocks up, they've teleported above me. So I'm going to look up right here. You can see the teleported horses are now 5 blocks above me rather than being 5 blocks above themselves. So this can cause a lot of problems because this affects every single entity the same way. So now there are a couple of ways you can do this. So you can execute at the horses. This is the new syntax for the slash execute command that you need to use because there is now no longer an alternative for you. So you need to execute at the horses. So at the position of the horses, you're still running the command. The player is still doing that. You're going to run slash TP or TP, the horses limit to one. So what this means is it's going to teleport a horse at the position of the horse, but only one of them. And you're going to sort to the nearest horse. So if you just look at this command itself, this will work because you're going to teleport at the horses at each horse, only one horse per horse sorted to the nearest one. So this means it's going to sort to the nearest horse at the horse. So it'll just be that horse itself. And you're going to teleport five blocks up and it works. Now there is another way you can do this. You don't have to use the limit uh, selector or specifier. You can use the distance specifier. So it's going to select a horse that is closest to it. So it's going to teleport a horse that is the closest horse to that horse, which is each horse individually. So now you can see that also works. So there are a couple of ways you can achieve this. If you're going to use the limit specifier, you have to use sort because uh, it doesn't work uh, because it doesn't sort to the nearest one by default. For whatever reason, it's not doing that, which I think it should by default be the nearest one because that's how we've always used a C equals one uh, specifier in 1.12 and prior to that. So this is just a quick demonstration and tutorial on how to finally correctly do this. If there is an easier way, please let me know in the comments, but this is the easiest way that I can find. And everything else is pretty straightforward. You can do slash at p, at tp at p, and then at p. It's the same stuff, but you're gonna have, to, it's basically essential now that you um, create a destination from the target. And otherwise, I don't see any other way to do that, unknown command. So otherwise, I hope you guys found this uh, useful in some ways. This is kind of important now and I just hope that the people who are struggling to use this new command uh, from servers or anything will find this video and uh, figure out how to solve that problem. Thank you all for watching. Take care.